Yo, it's your boy DP100 and you is now watching 100 TV and today we got some news. You know, we've been crazy in the entertainment world lately. From Dame Dash team flying out his mouth and now you got Lil Wayne not performing at the Super Bowl and everybody is in their feelings. So let's get to it, man. So it looks like your queen of hip hop, Nicki Minaj, went off on Jay-Z and the whole Super Bowl staff for not letting Lil Wayne perform and they picked Kendrick to perform at the halftime show. So let's get into it, man. I can't really blame Jay-Z the whole way, even though we know that Jay-Z and Lil Wayne and Drake and them, they all had some type of feud from Lil Wayne always claiming that he was the best rapper. But I don't want to just put everything on Jay-Z because personally, I'm not in the office with them, man, when they making these choices, you feel me? And you have to understand Kendrick Lamar has the biggest record, not like us out right now. So I could really understand why they would be going with Kendrick, but on the other hand, it's New Orleans, that is Wayne's hometown, it's like, damn, Wayne never did a Super Bowl, you feel me? Justin Timberlake did one, Lil Wayne is one of the best rappers of all time, let's just keep it 100, man, yes he is, so I can see where the mix-up comes from, you know what I mean, I can see why people will say no, this is not right, but like I said, I don't think it's all on Jay-Z's hands, but I know that there's other people in the room that's making these choices and they're gonna say, listen, let's go with Kendrick Lamar right now, because Kendrick Lamar got the biggest song in the world. So I can see them making that pick. Like I said, man, this right here would be the perfect timing for Wayne to go on there. And like I said, he don't have to be the main act. Wayne could just be added to it and just do a song or two. But yeah, your boy Juvenile, the original hot boy, he was in his feelings and he had something to say about this, man. Let's check it out. So everybody want me to speak on this Super Bowl situation. I'm mad about the situation just like y'all, man, but 11 Super Bowls in New Orleans, man. Y'all have yet to put a hip-hop artist from New Orleans on the damn Super Bowl. Sure, y'all have put artists on the Super Bowl back in the days. So y'all hurt, uh, and uh, the list goes on. Not too many. Not too many. This time, it really stick hit hard when you don't have Lil Wayne on the show. Somebody I don't say it really deserves it, and somebody that can bring out multiple artists of all genres. Think about it. Yep, so that's how Juvenile was feeling. And Juvenile has a good point also. You see, nobody's right or wrong in this right here. It's just about people just making their own choices. That's it, man. Hey, man, it's just the higher ups that is in control. Even like I was saying earlier about Jay-Z not being the only person that has control over it. Yes, he has a lot of say-so, but he's not the only person. And this is when Fabulous came in and Fabulous has something to say. Let's check out what Fab said. But I do see like people blaming it like solely on Jay-Z when I don't think that's the truth. I think um, it's a committee, it's a board. I feel like it's different people who come into play when decisions like that are, ha are made. Uh, I do think it would have been great for Lil Wayne to be, um, you know, just because of how much he's done in the game and how much he's meant to New Orleans and you know that would have been a, a great opportunity never know if he's going to be included if that was something that was behind the scenes I think it was interesting that Kendrick got it after the, the Drake battle and shit too I think that's more something that should be talked about you know I think his his relevance is really up from that so that could be something that took the scale too but the Trini girl, Nicki Minaj, she was not having it. You know them Trini girls, when they get in them feelings and that curry get hot, boy, you better run because she going to dump the pot on you, man. This is what Nicki Minaj had to say against Jay-Z and the whole Super Bowl staff for not letting Lil Wayne perform. So Nicki Minaj took to her Instagram and this is what she had to say. Denying a young black man what he rightfully put into this game for no other reason but your ego, your hatred for Birdman, Drake, and Nicki got you punishing Lil Wayne. Wayne, Little Wayne, the GOAT, Nola was good. Eminem stood firm on having 50 Cent come out. A white man, Esh Sad, House Ninjas Ting. But it's good for them. No loyalty. Welp, 
then ninjas will keep sunning you. Then she went on to say, and by the way, you don't know the half of what little Wayne has done for me and others. Wayne had Drake and I on his tour with no paper sign. He was on all our mixtapes with no paper sign. This man has literally changed the face of hip hop. The hair too, if you know, you know. He inspires so many others to tap their faces and get locks. Inspired your favorites to want to be a great MC. He never was in this for the money. It's always been for the love of music. So there you have it. Your girl Nicki Minaj is upset about this whole situation for the Super Bowl people not letting Lil Wayne perform this year. She even went on to bring up the time when Eminem did it and Eminem insisted on if he performs at the Super Bowl, he has to bring on 50 Cent. And that's when 50 Cent came from upside down and everybody said 50 was looking fat. But Eminem insisted he had to bring his dog up there. So hey, you never know. Maybe Kendrick, because I know Kendrick looks up to Wayne also. I go all the way back to the hot boy days, you know, and being 13, listening to this dude, just remembering the staple that he put on the game back then all the way to now, you know, to have that longevity years behind it. So for him, you know, to actually acknowledge, you know, what I'm doing right now, you know, and see it as a path the same way, you know, the longevity that he created is a great feeling to actually share that same stage and that same moment with him, you know. Wayne ain't no new, no new jack to the game, like I said, you know. He influenced a lot of styles and a, and, a, and a lot of sounds. And I can say I was influenced by a certain sound and a flow and a cadence, you know, that he brought to the game, which was very unique. Me being a young boy in the game and listening to him, like, yo, okay, I need to learn this and that. Kendrick loves Wayne, so maybe Kendrick is gonna be like, you know what? Yo, let me bring Wayne on for at least one song. But like I said, man, nobody's right or wrong here. We can't really blame Jay-Z unless you have footage of Jay-Z in them offices saying, no, I don't want Lil Wayne. We is gonna bring Kendrick. We can't blame this on Jay-Z, man. Nicki is not wrong either, man. You feel me? But let me know how y'all feel about this, man. I want everybody to like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy, DP. 100 and you was not watching 100 TV 100 you were now watching 100 TV where we always keep it 100 over here no clickbait no cap news just real authentic content the 100 way